to say to you all, welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 21, 1-14. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the Sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. They replied, we'll come with you. They went out and got into the boat, but caught nothing that night. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore, though the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus called out, Have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered, No, he said, Throw the net out to starboard, and you'll find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that they could not haul it in. The disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. At these words, It is the Lord, Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak round him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, towing the net and the fish. They were only about a hundred yards from land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was some bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus said, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them, and in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples was bold enough to ask, Who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them, and the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to disciples after rising from the dead. Renewing the call. This catch was a reminder that he called them from the fishing of fish to the fishing of souls. It would seem as though disciples had lost their initial zeal and enthusiasm when Jesus died. Today, we find them going back to fishing. People do that. When people suffer a great loss or trauma, they revert to past comfort or familiar thing. In the disciples' case, it was fishing. Jesus met Peter, Andrew, James and John fishing and he called them to follow him. Now that he has died, they had no one to follow, so they went back to fishing. But today, Jesus came back and met them fishing. They caught nothing until, from the shore, he guided them to a huge catch. This was not Jesus' way of helping them perfect their work. It was his way of renewing the call he made to them in the first. The catch is the symbol. The catch was the reminder that he called them from fishing of fish to fishing of souls. The disciples were not meant to go back, but to go forward and carry out the mission of evangelization. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.